Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have a bunch of functions where the first one is giving us f of 2 power of 0 equals 0. We have f of 2 power of 1 equals 1. f of 2 power of 2 equals 2. f of 2 power of 3 equals 3. And uh, what is f of 2 power of 4? If the condition is not given that the function here is a quadratic, we might have guessed that f of 2 power of 4 equals 4 because this follows a trend. If we check the power of this, 0, we have the output to be 0. The power of this is 1, here is also 1. The power of this is 2, this is 2, and why the power of this is 3, which is 3. So the next one that we follow, which is 2 power of 4, will be 4. But the condition here is the function is a quadratic. So if the function is a quadratic, it means we not get the next one to be 4. We get something different. So how can we solve this problem? It's very, very simple. When you consider the solution first, let's consider the general quadratic formula, which says, suppose I take f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the general quadratic function. And uh, technically, we need to find only the three points because the power of this quadratic is degree of 2. So we only need to consider the three points here. And if you have to consider all the four points, it will, it will let us know that the function is not basically quadratic. But we have a restricted here, which is it is only quadratic. That is why we are going to consider only the three points to determine the unique coefficient of A, B, and C. Let's start with the first one. So by considering the first one, if you have at x equals 1. So if x equals to 1, because for the first one we have f of 2 raised to the power of 0. And f of 2 raised to the power of 0 is just like f of 1. Then that one gives us a plus b plus c. And everything equals 0. And also, if you have f of 2 raised to the power of 1, that is f of 2, we have this as uh, a multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 1, about a is x squared, we are going to have that one as 4, plus also we have bx, that gives us 2b, then plus the constant equals 1. Why the last one we are going to consider is for f of 4. For f of 4, we have 4 raised to the power 2, that is 16a, plus we have 4b plus c equals, equals 2. So here are the three we are going to consider only because we have a restricted as it is a quadratic. So let's try to combine all these three together. So and we neglect this. For the first equation, we have a plus b plus c equals 0. Then we still have 4a plus 2b plus c equals 1. And why the last one is 16a plus 4b plus c equals 2. We have three equations. Here is equation 1, equation 2, and this is equation 3. So let's solve this one simultaneously. We have this as equation 2, and this is equation 1. Let's subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So by subtracting this, this becomes 3a plus b, then equals 1. We have formed another new equation here. Call this one equation 4. 
And also, let's subtract equation 2 from equation 3. By doing that, we have 12a plus... So since we are subtracting, this is 2b equals 1. We call this one equation 5. Now that we have new equations, which is equation 4 and uh, equation 5, we have to get the value of a and the value of b from this. So to get that, suppose I multiply this one by 2, because this is 2b. So we need something that will make this 2b cancelled. And by multiplying everything here by, uh, by 2, then we subtract. So we subtract, it cancels, and 2 times 3, that is 6. So 12a minus 6, that gives us 6a equals this one has become 2. And this one has already cancelled when we introduce negative to this. So we have minus 2 here, and uh, the whole of this becomes minus 1. So to get a, we divide both sides by to get a, we divide both sides by 6. Therefore, a equals minus 1 over 6. If a equals minus 1 over 6, we have to get b as well. To get b, when we consider from this without multiplying it by 2, we are going to have b here equals 1 minus 3a. And by introducing, by substituting the value of a into this, we are going to have uh, something like 3 divided by 2. That is what we are going to have for the value of b. And to get the value of C, we substitute A and B into any of the equation. But for easy, let's substitute it into equation 1 because it is more simpler to get. So since we have A plus B plus C, by making, by substituting the value of A and B here, A is given as minus 1 over 6 plus and B is given as 3 over 2 plus C equals 0. Then, here, we can write this as minus 1 over 6 plus, let's multiply this one by 6, 6. Only this one. This becomes 18 divided by, sorry, let's multiply it by 3. This becomes 9 and this becomes 6 plus 6 equals 0. Therefore, we are going to have... We are going to have uh, this, which is 8 divided by 6 plus C equals 0. Then, this in this, that is 4 over 3. And therefore, our C equals minus 4 divided by 3. So, if C equals minus 4 over 3, then let's come back to the formula. The quadratic function that we have, and we replace the co uh, the co the quotient which is a, b, and uh, c. Here we have f of x, which is a x squared plus b x plus c. And substituting the values a, we have a which is minus one over six x squared plus our b is. 3 over 2x and yc is minus 4 divided by 3. A is the function that we derive for f of x. And we are interested to find f of 2 to the power of 4, which is f of 16. So for f of 16, this becomes minus 1 over 6 into bracket of 16 squared plus 3 over 2 into bracket of 16 minus 4 divided by 3. And we try to solve this one completely. So we evaluate this. We are going to see that f of 16 equals minus 20. This is the result that we got here. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.